Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. I'm coming at you guys with a um, huge, huge craft haul. So I'm just going to start going through um, things I've gotten from um, I've gotten from estate sales, from thrift stores, and garage sales. And there might be a few Michaels things here and there. So um, I went to a, um, and also one other thing, I went to a um, really neat boutique place called Pink Trash, which I have a video on that. And um, there was a couple things I didn't, that I got from there that I didn't include last time. So I just wanted to show you guys. Aren't these adorable? The little ceramic shoes. Love. These are just to decorate my room. I love them. So there's those. And that's at the Pink Trash. If you want to buy the Pink Trash, you can watch my video on it. And I have the address there. It's in California. In Buellton, California. Also, I believe um, that I got this. Let me make sure it's how it's in frame. I believe I got this at that Pink Trash place too. And I forgot to put it in one of my videos. Let me just make sure. Oh, yeah, you can't even see that. Okay, let me lay it down. Well, you know what? Let me bring the camera up. So I bring the camera up, you can see it. And you can see my room. My room's not too messy. No, it's not too messy. Okay, so there that is. It's a um, like basically a little dress form. So I'm going to take that. It is nude. It looks a little obscene now that I'm looking at it. But anyway, I'm going to take that kind of that body. I'm going to treat it as a dress form. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring the camera back down. And I'm going to, um, you know, dress it all up as a dress form. So, when I do that project, I'll let you guys know. Um, this is at a thrift store by my house that I went to. And I think these are gorgeous. Let me lay them out so you guys can see them. I believe they're hand crocheted type of doilies. Really, really pretty. Make sure you guys can see those. We'll come in a little closer. Aren't those pretty? Let me put this other. So there's that one, and then here's the second one. You can see that. And then here's the third one. And I got all those for uh, three bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go back out a little bit. Not too much. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure I get this right so you can see things. So we're playing with the camera a lot so you know, I can focus in and focus out to make sure you guys can get a good view. Um, these right here are from a hotel. Oh, I live here in Vegas. And this is from the MGM Mirage Hotel. And these are neat because um, Tim Holt, Tim Holt has a, um, I think he has like this folder called a portfolio i believe and um and they look something like this and so i want to use this to make my own version of that see i think it's called portfolio wolio or something like that but anyway he's he's using something like this to make them okay and i'm going to use that for those when i do that project i will let you guys know and i got these at the thrift store for two bucks each I got these, which are kind of cool. These A and B from, um, I think I got those at Michael's. I think so. Anyway, I think I paid $1.75 for each of them. But I thought they would be really cool to um, alter. So, because A for Angela and B for Belle for my last name. Okay. I go into a bag that I have. Okay, this is a thrift store by my house again. Okay, let me make sure that's in frame. I love this. Again, you know, um, these little boxes, everybody's filling, you know, buying these and filling them. And I've been wanting to do one, but I hadn't found one of these boxes. And I didn't want to pay the price a lot of them cost. So, um, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see when I stand it up. Yeah, you can't see when I stand it up. All right, let's see. Let's see if you can see it now that way. No. All right, we'll just do it laying down. Good enough. But you can see. Aren't, isn't that fabulous? I paid two bucks for that. Then I have another one. Sorry about the noise, you guys. I'm taking them right out of the bag. 
make sure that's in frame. Okay, here's another one. Aren't these fabulous? Two bucks, you guys. I cannot believe this. Make sure I'm in frame. There we go. Two bucks. Crazy price. Okay, let's get some more light shining on my, my room here. Let's see if you guys can see those better. Yeah, you can see that a lot better. Two bucks. Cannot believe that, okay? And I got one more of those. When I saw that price, here's the other one. When I saw the price, I couldn't help myself. I had to buy them all. Two dollars a piece. Tim Holtz has these um, these type of cabinets, and these are made of nice hard wood. Um, they look nice and aged, and he'll charge 15, 15 to twenty dollars for his, and they're not even made this well. So, absolutely love that. Okay, I'm also one second, guys. Got something in a plastic bag. I'm also famous. Let me move this for um trashing is what I call it. You know how people call it thrifting? I'm famous for trashing. So I like to, I don't go through people's garbage cans, but if they have things sitting out next to their garbage can or in a box, I will go through them. So this is, it looks like a little shell. Let me kind of see how I can do this. There we go. Here we go. Isn't that kind of cool, you guys? So I thought what I would do is I would take and just totally deck this out in um, gemstones and beads and shells and do like a beachy type of collage on here and alter that. Okay. And that was for free from what I call trashing. <laughs> so, I'm not too proud to stop by if I see things outside of a trash can. Like I said, I won't go in the trash can, but I will go around one. Okay. Next. This was from a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. Let me see. Let me focus out a little bit so you guys can see those. And let me bring the camera up. Okay. Aren't those cool, you guys? I think I paid a dollar or two a piece for them. I thought these would be great to alter. So, looking forward to altering those. Next. I got this game called Suko. Let me put this down here. Yeah, you can see it. It's called Suko. I just think the box is really cool. And then you can open up the drawers. Let me see. You can open up the drawers and see what you what we find in there. A whole bag full of wooden numbers. Isn't that fabulous? Love. So I want to, I'm definitely going to use these wooden numbers in projects. And then, um, I'll just leave those out. And then I want to also um, alter this box. And then on this side, you open that drawer again, which is really cool. Put that back. And then they have these. Um, it's little square, little, um, like little square fat numbers. Real small ones. I shouldn't say little square pieces of wood. They're kind of chunky and they have numbers on them. So I thought those would be really great to use in projects. Sorry about that noise. Okay, next. Again, when I'm trashing, I believe, yeah, I got this. Okay, this is really long. So I'm gonna see how, I'm gonna do it like this. I got this sitting next to a trash can. Isn't that cool? It's a chair. Okay, so I'm going to try to sit this up. It's really tall, you guys. So I'm going to try to sit. So there's the bottom. And that's like the chair part. Let me just see if I can't. Yeah, there's something on that right now. That's the chair part. And then as you go up, there is the top of the chair. And it's already kind of decorated. And I love the little birdhouse at the top. And I kind of like the way it's decorated now. I'm probably just going to add a little bit to it. So alter it a little bit is what I'm probably going to do. But I thought that was just awesome. Especially for free. Okay, let me put that back. Okay, one other thing else I got at a garage sale, which probably only think it's kind of gross. 
But I got this pair of cowboy boots. I think I paid probably a dollar fifty cents, something like that, for them. Let me go out a little bit. Oh, okay, and we'll come up. This that's a pair of old boots, somebody's old cowboy boots. And the reason I got these is because I want to alter these. I want to paint them white. I want to paint them white and then I want to add lace and stuff all over them and just really alter them really shabby chic pretty and then make um, these big huge flowers out of the coffee coffee filter flowers and make them really big put them on a on a stem and have them hanging out and have them out of the boots I think that would look really cute so that's what I'm doing with those I think I saw that idea on like Pinterest or something and they didn't use cowboy boots, they were using like rain boots. But that's the idea I came up with once I saw those cowboy boots. Okay, next we got, okay, this is from a thrift store, which I think is from Savers. Me and my daughter paid not too much for these. Well, kind of, but not, not for what it is. It's a bowling bag. And we paid only $5.99. My daughter, my daughter got one too. Aren't they fabulous? Love! I'm going to alter it and I'm going to um, put laces and, you know, just put, make it very pretty, make it very shabby chic. I'm going to carry it as a purse. So that's what I'm doing with that. Okay, next we got, okay, this is all really fun and I should have taken it out of the bags for just a second. Oh, these are, these are so cute. I paid $1.99 for these at Savers. And if I could have waited just until Monday, um, it's Memorial Day on Monday, it would have been half off. But who knows if the stuff would have still been there. So make sure that's set up nice. These are little, um, these are little, um, Oh, what do you call these? I just showed you the big ones. Put this down for a second. And let's come in a little so you guys can see them a little better. Aren't they so cute? Watering cans. There we go. I was trying to think of the word. Okay, so now I have the big watering cans to alter. And now I have these three little watering cans to alter. I thought they were so cute. Okay. Next thing I got at Savers. Oh, I thought this was a great deal. I wanted to take it out of the bag. I'll just show you. It's a dollar ninety nine. It was decoupage. I'll show you. It was um, it's a bag of decoupage clear and then the uh, Eileen's tacky glue. But for a dollar ninety nine, I got both, and um, they're new. So, make sure you guys can see that. Okay. And then next, what I got were this is a bag full of wooden pieces okay see that for a dollar ninety nine and the main reason that I want to get this and the wooden pieces are just all kinds of wooden pieces let me show you something guys I'm gonna open it really quickly the main reason I got this because I wanted this little wooden wheelbarrow isn't that so cute you know I can't wait to put that in one of my projects and alter that. And then, like I said, there's a bunch of wooden pieces in here. Like this is a bunch of um, wooden hearts. Um, oh, how cute. This is a little birdhouse. And this is all for $1.99. Um, what else did I got in here? Oh, they got some like wooden balls more wooden hearts so i won't go through everything but you guys get the point so for dollar 99 that was a that was a steal okay let me put all that down now i'm glad i'm getting this video done so i want to get this stuff put away okay i think this might be my last bag of stuff oh no i got no it's not i still got quite a bit to go anyway Okay, <clears throat> next, still at Savers, I think I paid, I paid $6.99 for this, which some people may think is a lot, but it's not for what you're getting. Let me just put the camera down a little bit. 
Look at all of this. It's all hand crocheted. See if you guys can see that. Isn't that awesome? It's so beautiful. It's all hand crocheted and it's it's just tons. It's a big, huge, I can't even show you guys how big it is, but you can see. What I want to show you is, is that they have the individual doilies that were originally crocheted into this crochet blanket. And you can cut these individual doilies out and use them on projects. Okay, I'm trying to, so I can show you guys. See, see that? See the doily right there? It's right there. So I could cut that doily out. I know, fabulous. And there's so much of it. It's awesome. Let me show you the big pile so you can kind of see. See that big pile? Let me bring up my camera. It's huge. Okay. So, because I got so much, I thought that that was still a good deal. Even though I paid $7.99 for it. I mean, that's hand crocheted. I mean, that's a great deal. Okay, this is not craft related, but I think it's so cute. I, I love to wear clothing that is lace or hand crocheted or hand knitted or at least that look. So let me just show you what I got. I think it's super cute. And I spent $2.99 on this thing. Yeah, $2.99. Isn't that cute, you guys? There it is, and there's that. Anyway, just want to share that with you guys. Always check out the clothing when you guys go. Yeah, it's got some really cute stuff. Okay, next. Um, I paid a dollar for this at one of the thrift stores I went to. I went to I've gone to so many thrift stores lately, I can't remember which one. Okay, just so you guys can get a full view of this chair. Isn't that cool, you guys? Love! I'm going to totally alter that. I think it's going to be fabulous. I'm going to try to go through things quickly since I've got a lot to go through. Okay, I love this basket. Let's make sure that... Oh, you can get it in view. Perfect! Do you guys love this or what? I love it! I bought this for a buck at the thrift store. And I will be painting it probably white or pink. I think it would be pink so for, for my craft room to store things in and then of course I'll lace it out with tons of lace all over it it'll be pretty okay all right okay next another big pile let me remove some of this stuff okay Another big thing of lace, I think I paid, oh, this is two of them, did I, yeah, this one I paid, I don't know, three, maybe three bucks for this, I'll show you how big that one is, it's another big one, I love to buy fabric this way, because you get, you get a lot more for your money than if you go to the um, fabric store, plus you can't even get this kind of stuff at the fabric store, a lot of times, isn't that pretty? I thought this would make pretty flowers. Use it in altering pieces. Okay. Next one I got was this one. This one's $1.99. And it's not as big as the rest, but it's nice. And it's very pretty. Again, I'll make flowers. I love to make lace flowers. Make flowers with it and use it in my altered projects. Okay. <clears throat> Next. We have, okay, I bought two of these sleighs. I got them for $2 a piece. Make sure I'm in frame. And I got them for $2 a piece. And I'm definitely going to alter these. I've seen some cool stuff on YouTube of altering sleighs, sleds, or sleighs. There we go. So, and I want to make my sleighs so that I can put them around my house um, all the time. Which sounds crazy, but I'm not going to make them Christmassy. I'm going to make them shabby chic using a lot of beige tones type of laces and all of that and papers when I use my paper to, to um, decoupage the paper on there. But I think slates can be really, really pretty and not always use, not just used for Christmas. Um, I have one more. Get this one out. 
fact, I kind of like the way this one is already painted white and it's already all distressed. So it's really ready for me to start lacing out and adding flowers and filling this with goodies. The only thing is on the other side, I'd have to like, um, you know, paint that white because it has some little Christmas thing on it. Okay. All right. So we got those. Okay. Next. Just real quick. I bought this fabric. I just thought it was really cute. I'm going to come up close. That'd be cute for flowers because it has, um, like little, let's see if I can see little purses, little high heels. Um, teapots, gloves. It's not to be cute for flowers. It, it's been a buck on it. Now this I'm really excited about. These are all these little pieces. You guys saw that I bought those little, um, I don't know what you call them, these things. The little wooden boxes so that I can like fill the little wooden boxes. These. Thinking of the name, these, whatever you guys call these. Okay, I didn't have a whole lot to fill those with yet, but now I'm starting to collect a lot of stuff. So I was thinking, I don't know if these will fit or not, but these are kind of cute for things like that. This whole bag was only uh, $1.99. But see all these little, all these little things, which I can paint these up and match it to whatever, whatever the decor is. This is cute, it's a little milk bottle little chess piece thing says sugar in it but anyway it's a whole bag full of these little pieces okay to go in that cabinet and let me come in a little closer okay so now you guys can see a lot of see all those little pieces and it's a whole bag full and that was a darn that was two bucks but anyway I thought those would be great fill up those little those little boxes. So again, dollar ninety nine. Great deal. Oh, this I absolutely think is so adorable. Everything I got, I think, is adorable. I keep saying that. Sorry, but I love this. Um, this little this little Anderot chair. It was only two dollars. Also, at one of the thrift stores I went to, and I thought, oh my god, how cute would this be to alter? Love. So cute. Isn't that adorable, you guys? Oh my god, I can't wait to alter that. Okay, next. Okay, um, there is a lady, and I have forgotten her name. I cannot believe I've been watching her videos. I've been obsessed with her videos. I will put her name on the bottom of, I'll put her name below, so that you guys can go and click on her, because she's got me started on this milk glass collection, because her milk glass collection is out of this world. And she has got me on the milk glass kick. So anyway, I was at a thrift store yesterday. And this is the most I've paid for a piece of milk glass yet. But it was very pretty in very good condition. So I paid it. I paid 10 bucks for this. And let me see if you can make sure we're in frame. Yeah, we are. Get a little closer. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if I put it over here, if I can, just trying to see you guys where I'm in frame at, because I'm going to get the rest of my milk piece, piece glasses and sit down. Okay, so it's not pretty. I can kind of bring it up closer to here so you guys can see it. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Really pretty, and that's what it looks like in the back. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm going to start showing you the rest of the milk glass pieces I've gotten over the last couple of days. I don't have a ton yet, but um I've got the I've got the bug. So you guys are gonna see a lot of milk glass um videos from me because I am on the hunt for milk glass. Okay, the next piece is right here. Make sure it's in the frame. That's the next piece. Isn't that pretty? Kind of like a little wheat pattern. I really like this. I paid, I think I paid like three, I think three bucks for this. So all the milk glass I've gotten, I've gotten a really good deal on so far. 
Okay, next is this one. Let me make sure we're in frame. 